I came to Monaco uh, in 1984. I was 26. The reason why I investigated a few places where to live was because the, 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 the fiscal system or the tax system in Belgium was totally wrong for sports people. And uh, it was not acceptable for me to pay like 80 or 85 percent taxes on my income. Uh, the second time I came here was driving a Formula One car and uh, I found it so nice, so attractive. And then I started to ask questions to people and uh, I found out that this was a place that was suiting my, my needs very, very well. And then I discovered that Monaco had a lot to offer, a lot more than what just people say like this is very quickly. It's a fiscal paradise, yes, but not only that, you have the safety here. There's never been any uh, delinquency here in Monaco and will never be, I'm sure, with, with the, <laughs> the way it is protected. The weather is good, you're in between the sea and the mountains, very quick access to the airport. For me, one of the very important things was also the education of the kids. And the level of the schools here is just incredible. When the kids come out of the school in Monaco, they have a really, really good level. And that was for me one of the key factors why I stayed in Monaco, uh, even after racing. And I enjoy every moment of it. This is my country, actually. Uh, I live here since 34 years now, and I don't think I will ever move.